everyone, it's Nisha. So today I wanted to show you how I style my hair. I have done a couple of videos before, I think, um, on how I style my hair, but those days I had quite short um, inverted bob. I will still get a lot of questions about my hair. I always do. So what I will do, whenever I've done a video about my hair, blow drying, about colors of my hair, about using hair extensions, it's all in one playlist called All About My Hair. And I understand that not all of you know how to find the playlist. So what I will do, I will link it below, the whole playlist. So you can go and watch all the videos that I've ever done about hair. And I'm sure most of your questions would be answered there. So lately a lot of you have been asking me to show you how I um, style my hair. I do it most of the time the same way. I use different methods and, and um, different ways of getting the body. And this is the latest way um, how I try to do it. My hair is very fine, very flat. If I just left it to dry it would look horrendous. Um, it's quite damaged, so I'm trying to um, not back comb as much after I've styled the hair. I think that was doing the most damage. Let me tell you, first of all, I absolutely hate blow drying my hair. This is like the worst thing for me. Um, I like my hair to look nice, but I like, I hate doing it. Um, I try not to wash my hair very often. I probably wash my hair every three days. I know it's not for everyone, but mine doesn't get that greasy because it's bleached, I suppose. So I normally will do this one morning. The next day, if I do it, if I use this method that I'm going to show you today, when I wake up next day, it almost looks the same and it looks so good that sometimes I feel like I don't even have to brush my hair. And then on a the third day, I'll probably put it up when you often see me with my hair up with one of the um, little hair pieces. And then I will wash it again. But I try to do it as rarely as possible because I hate it. Anyway. Enough of talking, let's get to the demo. Okay, so I am brushing my hair through with this white tooth comb. So that's how my hair looks. Now I am going to spray some of the my Matrix Biolash Keratin Dose Renewal Spray. It's quite thick like a cream spray and I spray it mostly on my ends. It smells gorgeous. Brush it through. And then I'm going to add pump of John Frieda Freezies Forever Smooth Anti-Freeze Primer. Just need a one pump like this because my hair is very fine and I just brush it like from mid length. I don't go with any of it to my roots because I want body, I don't want my roots to be weighed down, especially that I've got such big regrowth. Now what I will do is blast my hair with um, the hair dryer and I have the Babyliss Pro Power Light. It's an old hair dryer. I'm not bothered about hair dryers that much. Hair dryer is a hair dryer. <laughs> You will notice that when I'm <clears throat> blasting my hair with the hair dryer, I sort of use this motion when I grab the hair and lift it. So I give it some body as I'm drying it.
Hi. Now that my hair is about, I don't know, 70% dry, I will start sectioning it. I have these brilliant crocodile clips. They are the best. And you can probably get them in hair supply shops. I, I got them with some heat tool ages ago. So I have only two of those. Anyway, how I'm going to section my hair is probably from around here first. And I just go around with my fingers. It doesn't have to be very precise. And clip it. And then I just do a few more. So a few more of these. So I can dry my hair in sections. And maybe one more. Now I'm going to use two size brushes. I've got one of those which is the head jog number 78 size and then I have this one. Um, it's a Spanish one. I bought it in Spain. It's called Termex Professional but there is no size on it but I reckon this is about 80. This one I'm not keen on because this is very slippery. It doesn't have nice grip like this one. So I need to get another one. Anyway, so I've got the nozzle on. I start with the smaller one because my hair at the back is quite short and I start blow drying. Like I said, if you are, if you've done it all the time, then you quite, you will be quite good with the brush and the hair dryer. But if you are not, then the other tool, the big hair spinning brush is ideal. I use that if I'm in a rush. Okay. because I've done it for so many years I don't need to even see what I'm doing at the back Okay, so I am going to um, do a couple more sections off camera because it's the same way and then I get back to the top. Most of it is done. Well, most of it, apart from the top. Now I'm going to unclip this and section this bit a bit. As you can see, I'm not very precise with it. Can you see how big my roots are? And I'm taking the bigger brush now. And when you get to the top, 
you need to start pulling the hair away from your head so I think it's called over directing there and so you get the body I don't know how the back is looking because I can't see. Okay, after that I just let this go. Like this and I take this pick, whatever it's called. very gentle not to rip your hair like I normally do and I'm taking the small brush first to get the curl then take the big one and do the same Now decide where your parting is. Mine is somewhere here. Okay, I think I've lost some footage there because, as usual, my son started making noise, so I had to turn it off, go and tell him off, and I think I forgot to switch the camera back on. But basically, what you've seen me doing so far, I did it the same to my sides just to smooth it but I've left my hair is tiny tiny bit damp because I am going to put rollers in it now so how many rollers do I have two four about nine rollers maybe not all of them I have two that are really big don't know how big they are but I don't think uh, you get any bigger and I use these little clips which I get in Sally's to hold my hand then I get smaller size and then some even smaller but that doesn't matter really okay so and what I use which this is a must for me is the Sebastian Vol Volapt <laughs> spray which is volume building spray gel I've mentioned this before I don't use it how, how it's meant to be used which is on wet hair and it's supposed to give you more volume I use it more uh, like a setting spray for my rollers you have to remember to shake it really well though to mix it because it's gel and water I suppose now I start about here right at the back of my crown take quite a wide section because it doesn't have to be um, I back on it slightly and I spray that at the root 
and I will put this roller in and I clip it with this okay now I'm going to do another one here a bit quite wide but a bit thinner again back on it spray it roll it I hope this is all in. Now the next section at the front, I'm gonna roll forward. And I tell you why, because if you, if I roll it all back, when I take it off, it'll be quite flat. When I, whereas when I, you will see when I take them out, if I roll it forward, it will have a bit more body. Can't see what I'm doing. Okay, just a tiny buckle, spray and roll. I'm leaving the fringe like this because this is like the most challenging challenging bit bit, but I show you why I do with it. Okay, now there I will put the huge one here. I don't back comb here. This is just to give me a bit of um, doesn't matter if that falls out, a bit of volume and smoothness. As you can see I'm not being very precise. how to do it here with my small mirror okay now can you see this gap here I will put one here but here I will back on spray and roll spray and roll baby spray and roll do the same on this side okay so how many have I got two three five seven I think I might put another one here at the back So I've used eight. You can use more if you want. You can stick them all over the place, but you don't have to. Okay, and after that, I am going to spread this again on each roller. Then I'm going to blast it with my hair dryer, and then I will leave it in for about half an hour. I just walk around. been about half an hour so I'm going to take the rollers out now you will see how that gel really really holds the curl in place Can you see? Okay, now this is gonna look strange because as you can see, I've got this big bump here and this is a bit flat. So what I do, I take my big brush and I grab this bit and that flat front of my fringe and I will just blast it with the hairdryer together.
so I don't have that. <laughs> and it looks something like this. So I normally just, it feels tiny bit crunchy, but still quite touchable from that. So what I do, I take my fingers first and I play with it with my fingers, sort of break up the curl. Then I take a little brush. This is Babylon's brush that probably came with my hair dryer. I really like the little brushes. And I will brush it slightly through. Not very hard, so I don't disturb. So you see the amount of um, volume that I got. I don't really have to, um, what's the word? back comb. I might have to back comb here a bit to merge these two, um, you see these two sections. Um, let me just go back into my bedroom so I can sort the back out because obviously I can't see what's going on there. Yeah, so what I do, I hold my mirror to the other mirror and with these prongs sort of smooth the back okay now with this I'm going to try to merge these two layers just by very gentle back combing and the rest you just um, style how you want it you know you can have it smoother you can have it you can you can smooth it a bit you can leave it a bit like this and um, so I'll play with it a bit I never know what to do with this front I like my fringe to go like this I sort of hold it like that and I spray it. I've got this Tony and Guy um, Extreme Hold hairspray. I wouldn't call it Extreme Hold, uh, but it's okay. So I just push these sections like that. And then everywhere else and that's how I style my hair it's a lot of work that's why I hate it you see how why I hate it but what can go do I hope you enjoyed it thank you very much for watching and I see you soon bye um to be honest I am get rid of the hair oh. Yes, remember to clean your brushes before you do a video so you don't come across as a dirty, dirty bitch. <laughs> I have a tool that I will.